my speaking notes now say brief intro of Matt and Jeff, so I'll make it very brief. Um, I guess four quick facts. Jeff Garzik, uh, one of uh, only a small handful of uh, blockchain core developers. Matt Rozak, um, one of the first and largest uh, VCs in this space. Both of them uh, co-founders of Block, and um, I've heard them both speak many times. They're uh, they're, they're that rare find in that they're, they're people that are deep in the technology, but they speak in plain English so that people like me who are not deep in the technology actually understand what they're saying. So I want to welcome them up. They have a special announcement to make today. And uh, so please give them uh, your attention and, and applause. Hello again. Um, my name is Matt Rozak. I'm co-founder of Block with uh, my dear friend Jeff Garzik. Um, Block is an enterprise blockchain software company. We build enterprise blockchain networks for market leaders. Um, primarily go to market in uh, three verticals, banking, insurance, and supply chain. And uh, when we started the company, we, we initially said we have to build a great team. And uh, it's, it's uh, uh, much easier to build a great team with uh, uh, a halo uh, uh, surrounding Jeff Garzik and, and inspiring the uh, folks to uh, come on board. And then we built uh, a product and then our go-to-market strategy with uh, partners like uh, PwC, Deloitte, and Microsoft. And then uh, kind of looking back, uh, the way we started with, with the team is that we actually uh, hired a lot of great open source developers, a lot of volunteers that were giving uh, to this community, unbeknownst to a lot of you, unbeknownst to me, uh, that we're building uh, some of the fabric that we use every day in this ecosystem. And we brought them on board, and a good chunk of their time goes to uh, fixing, updating, and keeping uh, a lot of the open source Bitcoin blockchain uh, stuff up and running. And it's, uh, it's an important thing to do. And then uh, uh, after that, we said, you know, we, we are going to draw a circle now around some of this stuff. So the way we go to market is we have a software uh, suite called Block Enterprise, and it's uh, what you would use to uh, build, manage, and scale a blockchain. Uh, it's called Block Enterprise. We have a consulting practice called Block Think, uh, and that's strategic architecting for blockchain networks. And today, we're pleased to announce the formation of Block Labs. And so with Block Labs, we uh, just based on what we did to this open source community and the, the volunteer effort, and, and contributing to some of these projects, we also encompassed uh, kind of a new perspective. And, and we kind of looked at history of like uh, Xerox PARC and Bell Labs and, and said th these were some of the, uh, uh, the icons that, that gave uh, to, to some of this, uh, uh, you know, not necessarily skunk works, but some of these more leading edge things where today we, we are building ways in which uh, banks, insurance companies, and, and, and otherwise uh, use blockchain to, to save money pretty soon to, to, to grow their markets, and then ultimately to disrupt their markets. And some of the leading edge technologies uh, is, is more the three to five year investment for them. We, we're bringing that into Block Labs, and so there's beyond the open source projects that we're uh, supporting, we're also investing time, energy, and money in some of the more uh, kind of uh, distant technologies that we think uh, from a, uh, a product standpoint will come to the fore uh, for, for enterprise. We want to bridge that gap. Absolutely, and uh, that's what we call the uh, connecting our customers, our block labs, or our block customers with this font of innovation. We're all standing on the shoulders of greats, and those are the innovators that are in our community, the, the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, uh, the other uh, developers that are working hard until 3 a.m. in the morning, building the software. Um, they might not necessarily have a business model behind that. They might not necessarily have a business behind that. But there's absolutely a foundational technology that we need to move from step one to step two to step three, et cetera. And so uh, uh, we're pleased to announce through Block Labs that we're sponsoring an initial uh, five projects. Um, some of these we've been uh, sponsoring for uh, well over a year, um, most notably uh, the Android Bitcoin wallet, one of the most uh, popular wallets with over a million downloads, Bitcoin J, which has uh, several million dollars of liquidity traded through it every day at most of the major uh, exchanges. There's something called DriveChain, which is a fantastic and very innovative 
uh, technology which allows very easy, safe, and secure side chains to connect to Bitcoin and be safe, secure, but at the same time, it's your own token, it's your own capability on that chain. Um, Quantum, or Qtum, uh, I'm not sure how to, I need to get that pronunciation straight. That's a fantastic technology that merges sort of the best of Bitcoin and Ethereum both. And so these were some of the uh, very foundational projects that we thought needed to boost the entire ecosystem into where it is today. It was very rough around the edges, 2010, 2011. And this is the type of developer, the type of technology that we need to uh, help get the foundational technologies for our customers into the hands of our customers. You have these, these the, sort of the, the guts of the engine under the hood. You have to get those right before you have the shiny Corvette driving into the customer. We also have another uh, announcement as well. Yeah, so um, uh, you guys heard of uh, uh, Enterprise Ethereum Association. So Block is now a member of that uh, platform and uh, has also elected Jeff to the Technical Steering Committee. And just to toot Jeff's horn a little bit uh, for him, uh, Jeff spent 10 years at Red Hat, so taking uh, open source uh, software and, and productizing that for enterprise. Uh, was a Bitcoin Core developer, and uh, last fall was elected to the Linux Board of uh, Directors, which is a big deal because it's like Microsoft and Samsung and Intel and, and Block, and, and I think that's really important for, for not only my dear friend Jeff and for Block, but for this ecosystem that there's a steward there that says, you know, uh, we've got uh, Hyperledger and all these other uh, uh, railroads out there that need this, this guided uh, uh, attention and, and perspective that uh, I think Jeff could uh, bring to the table. Absolutely, and one of uh, my uh, personal, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a pet peeve, but blockchain governance is huge, and, and this, is, this audience, uh, this city is very apropos to think about those issues, discuss those issues. How do you govern a decentralized system? How do you set into pl place, how do you set into practice processes for governing economic changes or scaling changes. You see a lot with the, uh, the Bitcoin scaling debates. You see a lot with the Ethereum, Ethereum classic divides. There's a lot of this uh, public policy, quite frankly, that uh, is just left undiscussed in the technical communities. And that really needs to mature. That really needs to change. As I uh, saw over my uh, career at uh, Red Hat, I watched the, the growth of Linux from uh, nothing to where it is today in every data center. I watched the growth of the internet itself. I grew up with the internet. And what are those working groups, what are those processes behind that success that really took the internet to where it is today? You have organizations like the IETF, they uh, create something called RFCs, which are essentially the standards and specifications for the internet. We don't have anything like that in blockchain today. There are some nascent efforts. There was an early effort with Bitcoin Foundation, et cetera. And this is really what the Ethereum, uh, the, what the EEA is looking to do, is reference implementations, specifications, and moving towards a much more uh, realistic governance model, a much more uh, managed change process and upgrades, uh, with the ultimate goal of really making this technology much, you know, raising the comfort level of enterprise with this technology and seeding this technology throughout the industry. So it's very exciting. And Jeff, I thought you were like a Bitcoin guy, so now you're uh, joining this <laughs> Ethereum platform. So, uh, but it's actually uh, uh, very uh, close to the, the strategy of, of Block, where we think it's going to be a multi-token, multi-network, multi-chain world. And so you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, we're members of Hyperledger. Uh, having an interoperable uh, software stack and model, we think, is, uh, makes all the sense in the world, uh, given all the innovation and, and uh, things that are happening in the space, where you know, the ground shifts underneath our feet every single week and month, and you have to have that kind of flexibility in, uh, in the way you approach building these networks. So uh, very, very- Absolutely, important. it's so early that you don't want to bet on one horse. Interoperability is key. It's going to be a multi-chain, multi-network, multi-token world. So that has to be the foundational strategy going forward for your organizations, just like it is with ours. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.